In this video, I'm gonna show you how to find an equivalent fraction by multiplying. So we're gonna use an algorithm. So let's use the same fractions that we had in the previous video. If I have 1 fourth, how can I find an equivalent fraction? So I want to multiply that 1 fourth by the number of rows that I partitioned. So let's go back to that model. I'll move this up just slightly. So if we took that model and we had 1 fourth shaded in, when I partitioned it, I partitioned it into two halves. So that's what I'm going to multiply my fraction by. I'm going to multiply it by two halves. We also want to think of the amount we're multiplying by as a fraction that's equal to one whole. So when your numerator and denominator match or are the same, that means it's equal to one whole. You have two equal parts and both parts are shaded in. So we're going to multiply one fourth times two halves. We can also write it this way where one fourth times two is going to be our new numerator and four times, I said one fourth, one times two is our numerator and four times two is our denominator. So let's solve that. One times two is two and four times two is eight. Okay, so what if we multiply to one fourth times four fourths? Again, four fourths is equivalent to one whole because the numerator and the denominator are the same amount. So if we took that model again and instead of halves we have fourths we have four partitions i'm going to this time i don't i'm not going to rewrite it because you don't always have to that's just to help with understanding one four one times four is four and four times four is 16. so one fourth is equivalent to four sixteenths it's also equivalent to two eighths Let's look at another example. So we also did in the last video, we used three fifths. Okay, so if we have three fifths, we multiply three fifths by a fraction that's equal to one whole. So let's try three thirds. Three times three, so we can write it out, is gonna be our new numerator. And five times three is gonna be our new denominator. 3 times 3 is 9, 5 times 3 is 15. So 3 fifths is equivalent to 9 fifteenths. So we found equivalent fractions by multiplying. We can also find equivalent fractions by dividing. So if we have the fraction 8 tenths, and if we divide by a fraction equivalent to 1, so two halves, do the same thing as if when you were multiplying, two halves, eight divided by two, let's write it out, eight divided by two will be our new numerator and 10 divided by two will be our new denominator. Eight divided by two is four and 10 divided by two is five. So eight tenths is equivalent to four fifths. So this is a fraction in simpler terms, in its simplest terms. Let's do another example. What if we have 12 sixteenths and we want to divide it by a fraction equivalent to one. So divided by four fourths. Again, our numerator and denominator match, so they're equivalent to one whole. I'm not gonna rewrite it this time. 12 divided by four is three. 16 divided by four is four. So 12 sixteenths, 12 sixteenths is equivalent to three fourths. If you found this video helpful, please like it by hitting the thumbs up button. If you want to learn how to represent fractions on a number line, watch this next video.